हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम एट सुधीर आई कोच चैनल फॉर बर्डिंग ऑफ थर्मोलॉजिस टुडे आई बी शेयरिंग ए वीडियो वेयर द पेशेंट डेवलप्स कैटरैक्ट आफ्टर कपल ऑफ इयर्स ऑफ आईसीएल इंप्लांटेशन ऑल द कैटरैक्ट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कैटरैक्ट आफ्टर द फिकी कायवल इज वन ऑफ द कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑल दो इट्स वेरी रेयर सो If the patient has a fake kaiwil in the place, then first we have to remove the fake kaiwil, and then the surgery. Uh, we have to perform surgery as we perform in normal other normal cases. Here, here selection of viscoelastic is important. Always use a high viscosity viscoelastic to maintain the anterior chamber. Then tuck out the fake kaiwil and uh, try to place it the part of. Uh, Uh, fake eye will in the anterior chamber over the iris and then again fill the chamber so that you basically preserve the cor- corneal endothelium then try to hook it uh, at the place where you can hold um, the tip of uh, the edge of the fake eye will with the macpherson forceps so that you can pull it out and the extraction of uh, piece uh, fake eye will can easily be done through the 2.8 millimeter of incision sometime holding of uh, fake eye will become slightly tricky and uh, you have to secure the iris also so with the carefully again i enlarge the incision carefully again i tuck the uh, fake eye will with the sinski hook and try to grab the edge of fake eye will with the macpherson forcep yet you have to take all precaution to preserve the cornea you have to be also cautious not to hold the iris fill the chamber again to protect the corneal endothelium grab the fake eye will at the edge and then easily you can explant the fake eye will after couple of years of uh, implantation the norm the fake eye will develop slight uh, yellowish tint which is not there in the fresh uh, fake eye will so most of the time in high myopic patient sometime after explantation of the fake eye will pupil you know, tends to you know constrict i started capsular access sometime you have to hook the iris tissue to stretch the pupil so that you, you get a decent size capsular access so i finished my capsular access of optimum size now time for hydro procedures because patient is still young so the nucleus is not there and the lens matter matter is still soft so i did hydro i performed hydro delineation and dissection again fill the chamber with dispersive viscoelastic and started to remove the nucleus matter with the fico then i realized that uh, since that uh, since the nucleus is not very hard so it is better to u- remove this uh, soft nucleus uh, part with the irrigation aspiration trip because uh, in high myopic patients we cannot afford to get, get postcapsular tears otherwise patient will develop develop uh, detachment in near future time so very careful aspiration with iv tip secure your postcapsule and with the second hand instrument you can manipulate the 
loose uh, fragments and uh, easily you can aspirate the whole of the nucleus along with the epinuclear plates. Again I filled the chamber with the high viscosity viscoelastic. Here I implanted the plus 2 diopters of uh, multi-piece hydrophobic implant. For that you have to load the high well securely in the cartridge. It goes through the 2.8 millimeter. So I already created 2.8 millimeter corneal clear corneal incision. So I implanted the multi-piece. The first, the leading haptic goes in the bag, and the trailing haptic you have to dial and secure it in the bag. Now wash the viscoelastics. from the anti-chamber and while and uh, behind the eye well. So um, performing a cataract surgery with phacic eye well is not a rocket science. Simply you have to secure your cornea and remove the phacic eye well, tuck it well and through the 2.8 millimeter incision you can easily explant and then perform cataract surgery carefully because the patient is myopic so you have to secure the posterior capsule then hydrate the cornea wound well always try to achieve a tight secured incidence